All right, well, good afternoon, good Friday afternoon. At least it is here in uh, northern Wisconsin, just about 2 o'clock. Hope you've had a good week. It is cold up here. If you check the weather, you don't need to. I will tell you it is cold. It's um, maybe 1 or 2 degrees. The wind is blowing at about 10 miles an hour. Nice day to be inside. And uh, yes, we've got enough stuff here to do a fire, and I think I'm going to do that here pretty soon. Because it's chilly outside. But yeah, welcome to northern Wisconsin. That's what you come to expect if you live here in the great northern uh, part of the state. In fact, we're about as far north as anyone could be in Wisconsin. We can be a little bit further north without being wet in the lake, but uh, we're north. Anyway, um, so hope, as I said, hope you're doing well. It's Friday. It's uh, end of the week. Work-wise, we've got folks coming for the weekend, so that's good. Uh, my good friend Willie Lawson, Willie Lawson Show, has been uh, starting with the Spreaker update of their studio recording app, which we like. And uh, just trying to figure out a couple of things where we can, because Willie and I have done some, we've co-hosted some shows before. So we're trying to figure out how the best way is to do that. I'm not sure quite how to do that, but we will figure it out. So, um, and I just figured out, I'm just, you probably heard something. I don't know how that sounded, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> um, I'm learning about this this like anybody else. There was a um, a, a debate last night, I believe, and I believe it was actually here in Wisconsin. I don't know where, um, since it was the Democratic debate in the not uh, exactly something that's uh, primary on our radar, simply because you've got a couple of um, older, they are older than I am, so senior to me, uh, you know, Bernie Sanders and Hillary, and I don't know what, you know, can someone explain to me, please, just logical, 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 why that woman is not in jail, why hasn't she been charged? There's, there's just no reason for that. There's absolutely no reason that she should not be uh, in jail, in court, um, facing charges uh, for her security lapses while she was Secretary of State. We won't even get into Benghazi. That was just a travesty, and it happened on her watch. But like many Democrats, she's not responsible, not her fault. Always something else. So anyway, and Bernie, who wants to give everybody free stuff, and you know, I, I don't get it. He's a socialist. He's, he's he he has stated he's a socialist, and how the Democrats, you know, come on, Democrats, is he your best and brightest? What is interesting on this whole thing is, and we're just spitballing here, but, you know, um, hey, if if somebody in the Department of Justice or some by some miracle somebody comes to their senses and actually subpoenas her, or, well, they've already subpoenaed her, but actually charges her, hauls her off to jail, um, she and she's not eligible uh, because of her legal issues to actually run for the office of president. Um, so that just leaves Bernie. Now, Democrats, are you really happy with Bernie as your sole, your best foot forward? Um, 
to represent the Democratic Party. He's, what, 74, 75? He's in his mid-70s. I, I should, should have looked this up. But I know he's, uh, he's up there. He, if, if were he to be elected, he would be the oldest president elected. And is that really who we want? I know I don't. But Democrats, is, it, is, is he really? And then, and then you get, okay, so if it's not Bernie, and if, the Democra- if you Democrats suddenly come to your senses and go, oops, can we, um, who's next? Crazy Uncle Joe? Um, is Al Gore even on the horizon? And we won't even get into his silliness and nonsense about global warming and, and carbon crap. But, uh, now, uh, you know, on the other side of the coin, and we're not flipping him, we're not flipping him here, <laughs> um, we still have way too many folks in the, uh, in the Republican side as far as still vying for... Uh, wanting to be president, they are falling by the wayside, um, and that's that's a good thing. A lot of people who probably shouldn't have ever been in to start with. And we're still getting, um, we still have people who, who have no business being there. Uh, everybody goes, I mean, you know, Trump is obviously the, 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 um, Politically, not not even politically, but the the um, oh, what do I want to say? Social media. Um, he's the one who is um, catching the attention of everybody simply because he is saying the things that the folks in flyover country, myself included. You know, we don't live on the East Coast. We don't live on the West Coast. We're we're in here in, the, in these areas that that people forget about. He's he's hitting those issues and items that we have been complaining about, stating about. Here are the the issues. Here are things that are that need to be addressed by our 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 the federal government, and he's doing that now. He's he's doing it, but I I don't believe he really has any way to back any of that up. He talks a good game. He's saying all the right things. You know, we we got to take care of the you know the illegal immigrants. We you know we have to take care of our veterans, and and that should be you know there are two there are those are two issues that that ought to be you know at, at the forefront. The economy, getting people back to work. He talks a good game. Does he have the wherewithal and um, you know to actually put something like that together? Uh, obviously, he is a, a you know he's a businessman. Maybe he's a good manager. I don't know. You know, he he sold a lot of books. He you know he has buildings with his names on his name on them, predominantly ex, uh, displayed. Um, a bit of uh, you know, hey, 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 look at me. Um, I don't know what sort of a management style he is. Can he actually put together an administration or a team that would be um, able to really address these things? You know, Donald has come to the forefront simply because he's he's hitting all the hot buttons that people. You know, as I said, like us in, in, in flyover country, have been saying for years, need to take care of the economy, need to take care of uh, address, and not just talk about addressing, but address um, with some teeth in it the illegal immigration, need to address the problems with the VA. Those types of things need to be taken care of and need to be uh, addressed forcefully. Now, Donald can talk a good game like any other politician, but it's, you know, it gets down to the cliche, you know, when the rubber meets the road, will he actually follow through? 
I'm not real sure I want to take that chance. I, you know, uh, Ted Cruz is much more um, founded and and uh, I, guess, I guess founded is a good word. Founded in the Constitution, and let's take care. Let's let's re, re, um, return to our foundational principles on how this fun country was founded, and address the issues that confront us from those principles, not a uh, polite and expedient 15 or 20 second soundbite on the evening news in what people want to hear. Um, the Constitution is still the law of the land, or let's hope it is, and um, I'm much more in line with wanting to say, yep, if, um, if somebody is willing to base their their administration on constitutional principles, let's go with that. Anyway, um, so this is the day two of um, using the Spreaker Record Studio app. I'm not even really sure what this is called, but it's a it's got a big the icon is a big red circle with R E C written in it. You can find it in any of your app stores, either. Um, either for the iPhone or uh, Android, and I even uh, believe there is a Windows version of this for the desktop. So, seems to be pretty good. Um, we are, like I said, my friend, uh, my good friend, Willie Lawson and I, Willie Lawson from the Willie Lawson Show. Um, Willie's actually, we're looking at this real seriously, because this seems to have great audio, and... Um, Working out a couple of other things, um, this this could be pretty good, um, like this format. Anyway, um, like this, we're trying to work on somehow to be able to either call in or co-host a show. So um, stay tuned as we try to work on those those things. Hope you're having a great Friday, and um, thanks for listening. And um, have a great weekend. If you haven't gotten anything for your Valentine. I'd hurry up and do that very quickly. And uh, we will talk to you all again real soon.